Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you guys could be here. I'm Rooster, and right now we're playing Starfield, and we're gonna help out one of our companions, Sarah, as we're diving deeper into her story, kind of, as you go through, you get likes and dislikes with her. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Don't miss out on anything that's coming on the channel. Lots of fun things. Hope you like it. Now, when we're helping out Sarah, as you're going through with any companion, you'll get likes and dislikes. So we're going to go help dig up her past and see if we can correct some wrongs. You guys know what to do. Let's, Let's kick it. And here we go in Memorial. Now, that's where we're heading to New Atlantis. But I wanted to make sure we got the whole conversation in with Sarah here. I can't get what happened out of my mind. I want to know what happened on that battle. How bad was it? Yeah, a little. I could handle these memories, but until I return to Cassiopeia, I'll never be able to put this to rest. Well, you need to get this put down so we don't have to deal with it anymore, shall we? time I saw my crew, their escape shuttle was headed for the planet's surface. I need to find the wreckage to ensure their memories are honored. I would like that. I think we can make that happen. Need that. One problem, though. What's the problem? Pointing the crew's shuttle wreckage is going to be like trying to find a grain of salt in a sandbox. But can we find it on one planet? We need to start by locating my old campsite on Cassiopeia One. Cassiopeia, Cassiopeia, Opia. Dauntless took heavy fire to the docking section. We can do it. We had three shuttles. One was destroyed, and the other two were damaged. There was no other way off the ship. So you got half the crew out and you were with by yourself? I saw the ship come apart. The UC listed it as lost. So I assume the Dauntless was completely destroyed. Was there to tell? Well, the ship could have been destroyed, but your friends could may not have been. Still, oh, I'll never forget my finger hovering over that launch button. Would I launch safely or explode into a fireball oh. it turned out that my shuttle had just enough power to allow an emergency landing on the planet's surface well that would have been I one hell of a been chance been. i'll tell you that Woo, 50 50 my shuttle that's better the telemetry tracking data for the other shuttle aboard never tell me the odds where it went down that's if scavengers haven't completely stripped my ship for parts it has a beautiful well, atmosphere, indigenous fauna, and maybe a few abandoned mining outposts. She loves to talk. Otherwise, it's not populated. That's what I was hoping. But I don't know the exact location of my survival campsite. For that, we are going to have to head to Mast and see if we can get the information from my old friend, Admiral Logan. What's wrong with Admiral Logan? I feel like you guys uh, right have an issue with each other. Logan and I butted heads more than once during my time with the Navigator Corps. We've never seen eye to eye. Look, I hope this isn't asking too much. Last thing I want to do is drag you into some kind of personal crusade. Well, it sounds like that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Uh, thanks. I really needed a laugh. Truth is, I'm scared. When I set foot on Cassiopeia, I don't know if I'll be able to handle what I find. Oh, uh, let's I begin to do it together. Out, I'm going to need someone who can keep my spirits up. I know you will. I always do my best. When I've needed your help, why you continue to support me, uh, I'll never understand. Uh, I feel the same way about you. Oh, I don't think you do. I feel like you're a friend. Look towards being in front of me all this time. True friendship. Something I've denied myself for far too long. Traveling out here with you, I've discovered that friendships change by circumstance. I worked closely with Aja on long space voyages, so we became friendly. When she quit Constellation, the friendship ended. But I'm certain at this point, even if you and I were separated by a great distance, 
we never lose touch. You're right. I have. Hey, um, anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I know you have a lot to do. We always have lots to do, I Sarah. Really but that's how we run. Hopefully, it'll bring me the closure that I've needed for far too long. All right, so now we're here on New Atlantis. All that is the precursor to setting us up to going seeing the Admiral. Now, we're going to bust down, see the Admiral, find out what's what on the who's who's of what's going on. And we're going to get this taken care of. Uh, we're here at Mass, obviously. All right, and it looks like I might have more work to do. Oh, this is quite the little office you got yourself parked up in here. <laughs> Not too shabby. Oh, and a corner office. No view, though. That's okay. We kind of all have banging offices. Hello, Admiral. And you're busy. All right. Are you busy now? You busy now? Sarah Morgan. Thank God. What? Almost 10 years? Yep. Well, About that, I would say. Good to see you again, sir. You're not required to address me as sir. That protocol ended the moment you dropped your clusters on my desk. Oh! Look, Admiral. Damn! Are we having a pissing match here, kids? Well, All right. This is an interesting turn of phrase, given our past. Listen, How do you turn a phrase? I'm not sure why you're here, but whatever it is, why don't you just get to it? I'm here. Because I need your help, Admiral. You need my help. That's the, interesting. The last uh, time we spoke, you made it quite clear that you were turning your back on the... I do find it funny when... That was <clears throat> a decade ago. Things Dude, changed. let the past die in the past, man. Admiral, please. I didn't come here to argue. I'm here to come to terms with my past. Your past is sitting in a closed file in the archive. That's where you left it when you walked out on the United Colonies. Okay. You? Just who in the blazes are you anyway? Well, you should probably know who I am since you're an admiral. I haven't spoken to Sarah Morgan for almost 10 years, and out of the blue, both of you barge into my office. I won't answer. I walked in nicely. You start with telling me who the hell you are. I can be your best friend or your worst enemy. You decide. Then, as Sarah's associate, perhaps you could kindly explain to me why I shouldn't have the both of you escorted from the building. Because... With all respect, Admiral. This is ridiculous. I'll just walk over to the other room and talk to the to president. How about you like them apples? I don't have a problem with you, Commander. I'm simply trying to determine why you deserve the Navy's help. That's quite a noble gesture. Is this true, Commander? It is. It's about Cassio. 100%, brah. I'm heading back there to find out what happened to the crew of the Dauntless and hopefully to bring their legacy home. That sounds like a dangerous operation. Are you certain it's worth the risk? Everything in life is worth the risk. I see. The fact that you'd risk your own lives to solve this mystery speaks volumes. They were my responsibility, Admiral. One way or another, I intend to bring them home. I understand. And I believe I owe you an apology, Commander. Our last encounter has obviously distorted my impression of your character. Damn! What can I do to help? This guy knows how to, to access be very courtesy. My rescue. I'd be most grateful, Admiral. That shouldn't be too difficult. I've sent all the relevant information to your slates. Was there anything else? Uh, I think that's pretty much about it. Thank you. Thanks. You don't need to thank me, Commander. I just hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. Well, thank you, Admiral. Yes. Hello. 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 Hello, everybody. All right. So it looks like we're going over to Cassiopeia. 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 One. All right. Now, since we're in airspace over the planet, I see some red triangles. And it tells me that we got some Starborns, which are obviously coming because I have my ships got everything locked and loaded with the artifact. 
on it right now. So we're going to show the Starborn what it's like to have ships blown up by the rooster. Come on. Shut their engines down. Mm. That makes you feel a lot better. Come on, stick with it. A Guardian 3? Are you trying to fly away? Are you just here to like kind of scare us or what's the deal? Look what he's doing to my own bullets. You see what he's doing? Oh, what? This is not the Enterprise, dude. You can't just get up and walk around. You're the one actually flying the ship. Sit down. Well, <laughs> Oh, for a second there, I thought I was Picard just walking around. Number two. Who does number two work for? All right. Or maybe I was more like a miniature Kirk there, running down to the engine room to help out Scotty. All right, put him down. So I don't think we actually destroy them. I think they bounce when we get close. But with that out of the way, let's go down to the planet side. And if you haven't been here before, make sure you scan it so you get all that good information and you know what you need to do when to get the uh, full scan on, not scan, survey on it. There we go. All right. Now. What do you have for us, Sarah? Spill the beans, girl. It feels like walking into a dream. I'm okay. It's just so surreal. Phew. Okay, so let me get my bearings for a moment. Oh, no, take all the moments you want. I flew all the way over here. Those rock formations nearby look familiar. My old campsite shouldn't be far. Oh, righty. I promise. Once we get to the campsite, we'll use that as a starting point to search for the crew's shuttle wreckage. <sighs> Let's go. Well, you knew where your ship was. Why didn't we just come here first? You would have had information what we... Mm. Mm. Women. We go high, we go low. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Now, I don't see anything really like interesting about the campground, but at the same time, you never know, right? One tap. Here we go. Kaboom. Uh, not anything over the top crazy, which I was expecting. I wasn't expecting to find anything worthwhile. If I was stranded on, an, uh, on a planet for a year or so, this would have been a lot. Well, well, it would have been ma more maintained. That's what I'm saying. This looks like a heave. Like she just like let all the debris do their thing. Like, come on. Skiado. All right, no books. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, what do we got here? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I've been looking for. Oh, now we'll flip on her computer, but it looks like there's nothing going on. Yeah, so we have no power to the system. So she wants, is going to need us to get a power source. I guarantee it. Let's talk to Sarah and find out what's going on. This is it. This is the spot where I spent close to a year waiting for rescue. Not exactly Paradiso, is it? Well, Paradiso is yeah. quite a place. Well, we're just walking around. So 
so and bikinis. On both of us, I suppose. Look at this thing. It's been sitting here rusting. I think we need to grab an emergency power cell to get the ship's computer up and running. That I think we can have happen. Where do we have one laying around? Stranded. I set up a distress beacon powered by emergency power cells. The beacon was up there on the plateau. I guess it's time to start climbing. All right. So she set up a beacon on the like. This is what I don't get. If both your ships landed on the same planet and you're both putting out beacons for rescue that you wouldn't have been able to pick up each other's signals. Now I'm going to walk over the arch instead of trying to boost myself up the side of the mountain, which, you know, it's fun and everything. Don't get me wrong, but you got a massive archway that would make Ronald McDonald all giddy. So let's just bounce around through here. And whoa, 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 whoa. Why is why are we being detected? All right, I got this real bad feeling in the back of my the back of my throat. Something's gonna be around here. I just got that feeling that we're gonna get swindled here in a moment. Some guy's gonna pop out and be like did you miss me? Setting up These rock formations look absolutely bizarre. Knows how long I would have been stranded here. All right. I'll take one of those. God, knew it. I knew it was too good to be true. I knew I was being washed by something. Let's put some. Good God. Where'd they go? Let's get them. Cowabunga. Oh, I see you down there. You... Oh. Gotcha. Don't move. Don't try to run away on me now, boy. Take out your stupid leg. Watch yourself. All right, before we get any further along, let's check out, make sure we didn't miss anything. I don't need those cutters. That's just garbage and scrap. Reload. Oh, there's another one. You ugly. Yeah, take that rock, man. Level 40. You better be some good ex 69 only for experience. It's another one. Yep, knew it. There are those things that stay still right until the last moment. Well, there's nothing wrong. We gotta, you gotta do it anyways to get part of the survey. So just kill these bad guys. Get the survey up for one of these animals. It also helps me upgrade my pistols. Oh, yeah, these ones are actually the probably the coolest ones so far that are just like hiding in and around the rocks while wow, they look like rocks. 75 for scan on them. That's one over there. Got him. All right, let's make our way back to the campground since we have the power source now. Keep our eyes peeled. It almost reminds me of those uh, bugs that were in the caves that were like in Star Wars Fallen Jedi or Survivor. One of those two, they both had them where they had their bad guys that would lay in the dirt. You could sense them, but Dear God, would it pop up? Just jump out of the shadows when you walk by it. Get me every time. Uh. All right, we got a 100% scan on them. 
Like I said, pick up whatever we can while we're walking around. I'm not going to go off doing a full explore. That's for another time. Most likely once I start having to do like just mission board missions, that's when I'll spend a lot of time just exploring. All right, power's back up. We are good to roll. Here we go. All right, loss of altitude. Number two shuttle. What we got here? She spent two days in the crash site, slipping in and out of consciousness. Yeah, that's probably a concussion. Um, she's tr see, she, she uh, geo mapping some of the planet when she landed uh, for her ships and systems. So that's just talking about her first few days. I would expect if you're here for a year that you would have kept a better log. We've but where the other shuttle went down. I can't believe our plan worked. Yeah, it's literally like 500 yeah, clicks. I suppose you're right. West, right? Hmm. It's going to be right around the corner like you guys never range to hike. expanded. We're going to have to head back to the ship and land on a different part of the planet. Let's get going. Like if I saw where the planet was crashing. All right. So here it is. There's my ship. That's where I am. This is where they are. Now, when you look at that from the planet to planet, you're probably talking that's a good oh, probably months travel. Like Looks like you're going from one side of the continent to another. And we're in the pitch dark. Do I have my light on? Yeah, I do. It's just that dark. Awesome. <sighs> Don't worry, I'll give him a little schnoozy gun. Shotgun in the face. Trying to sneak up on me. What? Oh, look at this view. That I yeah, they crashed. Pleasant circumstances. Well, they crashed in a valley, in somewhat valley between some rocks. Whoa, what do we got here? Look at this thing. I don't care. What is that? Like some kind of bug lizard? I guarantee the guys had a blast getting to make different monsters for planets. They're like, look, go into your, uh, go to a bunch of grade four to six year olds or four to six grades and ask them to draw some monsters and hybrid them. We want it to look like a bug and it can be like a lizardy. And we can land on top of the planet. This is definitely crouching tiger, hidden dragon stuff. We're on top of the trees. We got some plants. Now, I upgraded my scanner for when I do planet scanning. And as you can see, I can scan quite the distance now. Like, you don't have to be. If when you first have it, you have to be fairly close within like 20 feet. All right, let's have a. This was their shuttle? scavenged and dragged somewhere else. Could there have been survivors? Or scavengers? The shuttle looks like uh, seen better days. Why wouldn't you build a base around the shuttle itself? Unless they found uh, a better s spot, because that looks pretty protected there. Whoa, here we go. We found a base. All right, nice and quiet. Looks like they got plants done. Look at this. I doubt they have anything of worth to take since, you know, they've been stranded on an island or a planet island. It looks like they were trying to do some planting, some little gardening for veggies or whatnot. Oh, I'll shoot if I have to. you look identical to the girl on Aquila. I know how to use this thing and I will. <laughs> this girl's got a gun. Who are you? She, obviously, she's a little kid. Just go away. I'm not going 
to let anyone take my stuff again. No way. Both of you, just go! All right. How about you put the gun down before anybody gets hurt? Hey, I'm not stupid. Last time people were here, they promised to help. They ended Who? up tricking me. They stole all of my good stuff and left me behind. I'm not going to let that happen ever again. So there's more people on this planet than I just can't. you and I your crew? Man. I don't care. Damn. Why should I listen to you anyway? How many bullets you got? Stop it right now. <coughs> away that gun and talk to us. We want to know what happened here. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it's going to work. Not nice at all. I knew it. You're a liar. Well, That's all grown-ups do is lie. You got that coming to you, sir. How about you let me handle this? Simmer down a little bit. Okay, Big Rig? I was wrong to get so angry. Stop talking to her. I'm here to help you. You are not a diplomat. To tell the truth. I don't know. You're kind of scaring me. Why should I listen to you? Because I'm here to find out what's been going on, so quit pointing the gun at me and let me talk. Well, we didn't know you were a born here. Oh my god. Interesting. Your parents. Your mom and your dad. What were their names? Jenna and Elias. Why? Damn. And Elias. That's what happens when you get Elias stranded. Jenna Marsh and Corporal Elias. End up having babies. You're their daughter. Listen to me. I knew you. They worked with me on the Dauntless. Uh -oh. I'm Commander Sarah Morgan. You're Sarah Morgan? Mom and Dad's captain? Just puts the gun right away. My parents used to talk about you all the time. It's like a dream to finally meet you. Awkward. Are your parents around or what's going on? Well, you're too late. My parents are dead. My father died a long time ago. Mother, she was killed by those those monsters at the graveyard. What? It's just me here now. We got by myself. We got some ghouls. Let me ask you a question. Oh, actually, I don't even know your name. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's get some pleasant series out of the way. Sonia. Sonia. <laughs> what a lovely name, Sonia. You mentioned Would have been funnier if they named her Sarah. That where the crew is, um, you know. Buried? <laughs> yeah. It's a bunch of stones with those necklaces like the ones my mom and dad had hanging on. Thank you, Sona. I'm going to talk to my friend here a minute, okay? Okay, Sarah. All righty then. All right. What do you think, Sarah? What do you think is going to happen? I don't even know where to begin. I can imagine they've been here for over a decade. So the kid looks like she's probably the eight, nine That's range. Good advice. Possibly. Oh, there's so much to process, but I don't have time to deal with it right now. If you want to help, then find that graveyard and bring me those necklaces Sona mentioned. I'm hoping they're my crew's gene tags. Well, they obviously are. She just said that's where they're buried. Good. Just be careful. Sona's monsters are undoubtedly hostile life forms that have claimed the graveyard as their territory. Yes, or they're indigenous peoples to this island. All right. I'm going to go deal with this. All right, we're going to go deal with whatever monsters and get the gene tags back um yeah for one why would you put a graveyard so, uh, i understand why because the graveyard you don't want it near you because like this would happen animals creatures start getting all but it's your f hut isn't that far away 
Now, I'm going to try my solar flare out. I've been working. We got one. I think it should be. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is this? Get out. It's straight up flower demon here. Oh, hell no. Blends right in. I hate that. Because you start seeing the shadows move and you're like, I don't even. Whoa, get back right on. Got time for that. I am going to grab their stuff because sometimes when you go back to Noel uh, on uh, at the lodge, any bio stuff she'll buy and you can make it go. Oh, good guy. All right. I wasn't able to get a hit because these things are a little bit faster. And they remind me of like a bamboo monster almost like just uh, what the hell kind of bug is that called? Oh, uh, the f well, it doesn't hit them very hard, but coral bug, where are you hiding, buddy? I see you over there. Look at you running. Stay down. Okay. Make our way up here. The All right, so this does look like a place actually that I would have preferred if it was me to build an outpost because you could have had that as your ledge to keep an eye on any creatures and then fortify around behind you. But that is me. They probably did this, left this. I would want to be as high as possible. Whoa, 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 what the is that? Level 60, we got a greater Silverfish? Well, guess what? Crouching tiger hidden dragon this! Look at this ugly looking dinosaur. John, you weren't expecting me to just hold you in the air and shoot you in the face, were you? Look at this. Love it. It is like the Jurassic Park rejects. Actually, because of the patterns on it and stuff, it would be able to blend in a lot more. Interesting. So that's probably what got the mom. I could see that. But look how far away we are for that graveyard to our base. And how silly that, like that's quite the hike, especially if you don't have weapons or anything prepared to fight something like that. I don't know. I think this might have been or unless that's the other half of the shuttle, the back part of the shuttle. And that's why they just put, picked it because it's no. part of the shuttle. No, no, no. How many times do I have to say it? Oh, I said I don't want to go. Leave me alone. Yeah, Sarah, I don't think you'd be a very good parent. Just simmer down. It's gone for like five minutes. Jeez. We're gonna grab that book. I've already had the other ones. <laughs> you can't make me leave. No one's making you do anything. It's not safe. She has to come back with us to Jemison. Look, if she wants to come back to Jemison with us, she can. Can you talk to her? Oh, now you want me to talk. Are you gonna actually allow me to speak with the child? Depend on you. Now all we have to do is convince this that she's better off leaving the planet with us. I just, I don't know if I have it in me to say the right things. I can hear you talking about me. <laughs> I don't care what either of you say. I'm not going anywhere. Look, I'm clearly out of my element here and not in the right state of mind. Could yeah, you I can see that. Things? All right, simmer down, I'll talk to her. All right, look. You can either stay or you can come back with us. It's all up to you, kid. But first, I want to uh, look at this. That's what I want. Whoop, whoop. Healing items do a permanently 5% more or permanently 5% more effective. You, yeah. I'll take it. All right. Look, because you're a small child on a weird planet. I understand that. I want to know who these bad people are. Mean I should leave the only home I ever had. Does it? 
look, sometimes we do leave homes and we get new homes. I, I never thought of it that way. But leaving mom and dad behind, it's really hard. Even though they're dead, I don't want to abandon them. I understand that, but you're not abandoning them. Oh, perfect. They're in your heart. There you go. I never thought of it that way. I'm sorry I yelled at everybody. I know you and Sarah are just trying to help. I'm going to go get my stuff and then I'll board your ship. Don't worry. I'll stay out of the way until we get, well, wherever we're going. Hey. Don't even worry about it, man. We already have a kid. Sam's got a kid. Maybe you guys can be friends. Maybe she can show you around. I'm sure it'll work out. I hope we've made the right decision. Well, we didn't make the wrong decision. I'll tell you that. Why? Because I'm not leaving a child back here on this stupid island, planet, again, the island. From the only home she's ever known, casting her back into society. It's going to be difficult for her to adjust to the changes. Wherever she ends up, just promise me we'll check on her from time to time, please. Oh, yeah. This girl's a survivor. We'll keep an eye on her. That means a lot to me. I don't know who your members were and how... We leave Cassiopeia um, behind. Yeah. I wanted to say one more thing to you. Perhaps at the Overlook we passed on the way here. I promise it won't take long. Are we again? Let's go. Is this one of those, like, we want to have a romantic moment? Ugh. Let's talk about this kid, let's talk another time. That's all she ever says to me. Children. Well, okay. Whoa, wait. Oh, right up there. All right. Um. All right. There looks like an easier way. We'll go up around from behind. Climb up these rocks. And boom. See? I think that's why they built where they built is because their ship was split in half. Look, before we head back to the ship, I wanted to tell you how much of an amazing gift this has been. Okay. You had to push me to come out here. And if I hadn't have listened to you, the universe would probably have never known about that little girl. Well, people have seen her. Oh, Remember yes, the bad people? Absolutely. And it's all thanks to you. You know, this is the second time I've been on this world. And until this very moment, I never stopped to reflect at just how magnificent it was. Oh, look at this place. This is the reason I'm out here, exploring the stars. Worlds upon worlds just waiting to have their beauty discovered. Okay. Shedding this burden of my past has finally allowed me to open my eyes wider than they've ever been opened before. Oh, that's a good feeling. Yeah. I'm sure, uh, is this the moment we start flirting? I suppose we'll both have to think about that for a while now, won't we? Oh, I don't know. I thought that was a moment. Sorry, I didn't mean to lean in or anything. It's time to bid goodbye to Cassiopeia once again. Let's bid it a fair do. Under much happier circumstances. Now, let's head back to Jemison. I want to give those gene tags you gathered to Admiral Logan and figure out what we're going to do with Sona. All right. So we're going to head back to New Atlantis. And we're going to bounce real hard. And we're going to go talk to the Admiral. I'm sure he can figure something out. Guy seems like he's fairly competent in what he does. We're back here at mass. Save all that traveling time because you don't want to watch that. Here we go. Reginald Orlay's days of inflicting death are over. And we have you to thank you. Oh, did you pick up my file? Is, are you looking at what I've done? Did you find your answers? Yep, so far so good, Admiral. Not only that, but we found someone there, alive. A child born from two of the crew that survived the crash. Boom. After her parents died. Poor girl spent years surviving on that hostile world, alone. We abandoned her, Admiral. We let her down. How did you, you didn't even know she was there? I had no idea. Right answer. How could we have possibly known? We wouldn't have. 
We could have gone back to the planet and have had a scanner look. I think we can all agree that this was another unfortunate circumstance of the colony war. Oh, that damn colony war is killing us. Unfortunate circumstance. I call it a tragedy. Whose high horse are you on right now, Sarah? You pieced out for 10 years, too. That the names of these men and women will never be forgotten. I'll see to it personally. Thank you very much, Admiral. Admiral. Good luck to both of you. It's been an honor. I'll see you around, sir. We should have a little talk with Sona. All right. I have no problem having a little chat with the girl. I do want to see how she's doing. And she's no better place than at the lodge. So let us make our way to that very place. Hop in the elevator. To the lodge we go. We so she's up. probably talk. Yeah, we are. She's up in Sarah's there room. You are. I was wondering when you'd come and say hi to me. I Have literally just that? dropped off what I was supposed to. You found your way to the lodge without any trouble? Yeah, it was kind of hard, though. All these people around. Never seen so many people in my entire life. Yeah, I guarantee you haven't, considering you've been probably with, like, what, I'm six sure people? I like it. No, I don't know yet. It's all really new to me. You fit in just fine. You're one of the smartest people I've ever met. So. Wow, that's saying a lot. Think? Do you like it here, Sona? At the lodge? Yeah. This she could be friends huge. with Cora. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. You must be like a bazillionaire, Sarah. Well. <laughs> oh, don't I wish. You mean a quadrillion there? This place isn't mine alone. It belongs to everyone who's a part of Constellation. Hoorah. And I think it should belong to you too, Sona. I want you to stay here and make this your home. Whoa. Well. The only way to recruit new members for the Are team. You or wait, do I get my own ship? Um, you can have the frontier if you want to take that first spin. And don't worry. At the rate you're growing, it won't be long until you're grav jumping to unexplored star systems on your own ship. I understand. Oh, and don't worry. I learn real fast. So you better get ready to have another member of Constellation signing on for missions. I can't imagine her oh, and... Cora, well, working anyway, together. They'd be pretty smart. I, stay here. I promise I won't let either of you down. I'm sure that you won't. Well, I think we should let Sona get settled. She taking your rooms. Mind, I'd like to visit the Colony War Memorial now. I want to, uh, to pay my final respects. Oh, okay. Is she gonna take Andreas? Andreas? Uh, Andrea? No. Anyways, she may have her room since I'll just have to go collect her stuff, move it across the hall. All right, so let's go make our way across town. It's in the same area. It's just out front of mass. All these people just living their best lives because of me and my awesomeness. So here is the memorial. Wow. It's a pretty nice little gig. Oh, whoa. Okay, so that flame is hot. I was thought I had to click on it, but apparently not. So don't do that. <laughs> Look at this. All these people, their entire lives distilled down to names on a memorial. I wonder yeah. how close I came to being reduced to just a name. Well, you said it was a 50 50 chance. Just saying. I'm proud. I was simply too foolish to realize it until you changed my perspective. Oh, I'm happy I could have done that for you, Sarah. Are we doing the flirt I now? I about you too. There's obviously some kind of a connection between us that I think we need to discuss. Just let me have another moment here and then we can head over to the waterfall. Oh, the waterfall? So we can talk in private. Love the waterfall. All right, you take a moment if you need it. Oh, you're actually going to take a long moment. Okay. Well, you are. I'm ready. You were saying goodbye to your friends. Let's go. All right, so we're going to head over to the waterfall. That means we have to go to the spaceport, take the elevator to go to the well. But we're going to, instead of going to the well, we're going to go up top to the waterfall. It's got a nice little lookout place here. I have just run in it. 
my Here we are. Too much. I love coming to this spot to just sort of... I don't think that's a natural waterfall. It's not what I was expecting, but... Looks more like a hydro dam situation, but... Talk to me, Sarah. What's up? It's lovely here, isn't it? It's very loud. With all the ships. from one end of the settled systems to the other. But this place... This exact spot... There's nowhere else like it in the galaxy. Really? I knew you'd appreciate it. I usually come up here to mull over some of the heated debates we have at Constellation. You'd be surprised how many decisions I've made on this very spot. Seems like a great place to focus. That's actually why I asked you to meet me up here. Considering a lot of the people on our team have strong opinions on things. Talk about something very important. Okay. No, not at all. Just let me get all of this out. We'll never I say we want to have an important have conversation if you're not going to get right it's to about it. My return to Cassiopeia. Oh. What we learned about Sona has been constantly replaying in my mind. Oh, maybe I can see that. Crazy. But that young girl's isolation feels like a reflection of my own life. Oh, this is a lot to uh, go through. Wrong. Compared to Sona, I've had it easy. I've spent my life. She was like Tarzan. Sarah lived in the Constant jungle alone. The navigator call. Okay. Hell, even you seem to betray. Despite that, no matter how hard I've tried to make them a part of my life, they tend to drift away and disappear. Hmm. <sighs> I suppose. I guess. <laughs> well, if that's true, this challenge is wearing me down. All right. So let's just get to the I point where we... Like that would be wonderful. Wait a second. What exactly are you saying? I don't know. What are you saying? Let's get to the... Oh, so we get the chance. Let's <gasps> do a romance. We lost the wife. Got to get a new I, one. I just need a moment to gather my thoughts. Okay. I know you want to have a serious relationship. You want to become close. So, Ish. if you're willing to take that leap of faith with someone like me, then I'm ready to do the same. Now, this is the chance where if you just I want a friendship with her, with anyone else. we can so, just put a stop to it right there. To make the leap, I'm ready to do the same. Now, it doesn't matter what truly your sexual orientation is. You can romance You've and helped me conquer my self-doubt, my everyone. confidence, hell, everything. For the first time in my life, I feel complete. Oh, uh, Jerry Maguire. <laughs> and with you by my side, I'm convinced you that complete me. will last forever. You're the best thing that's happened to me in my life. Oh, wow. I love you. Oh, you can't just go around throwing that I love you right in the first conversation. But that's, I understand it. We've been through some stuff and I feel like we have a good bond. Oh, well, I guess that's where we're going to leave it, guys. Her entire like lead up to this has been fun. Her story about helping gather up and getting Sarah uh, Sonya back. It's been cool. And we're glad we're able to put an end to that. And it's not bad to have a person like Sarah in your corner. So let me know who you picked, who you're really enjoying to have as your companion. And until next time, stay safe, keep on gaming, and unlock your rage.